our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Diego Brandau, four years the elder of Brian T. City Ortega, who will have a very, very slight reach advantage. Once again, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Nine wins, no losses, one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Brian T. City Ortega. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 24 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Manaus, Brazil, presenting the Ultimate Fighter Season 14 featherweight winner, Diego C.B. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, John McCarthy. Big John McCarthy, our referee. The beautiful Britain. Four Octagon girls working tonight. Our first fights of 2016. Diego Brandau. Right, you ready? Brian Ortega. You ready? Let's get it Here we go. White trunks for the man called T-City. Dark trunks for the Brazilian DB, Diego Brandau. Hard leg kick by Brandau, but falls down from it. And another one to the inside. Again, Diego with oh, serious power. And here's a right hand over the top. Diego Brandau coming off that season 14 of the Ultimate Fighter, Joe, was, you know, really billed by many as the next big thing. Well, he certainly has the potential, yes. and he certainly has the ability. He's just been hot and cold as a fighter. That's it, the two men. Big arm bar. Uh -oh. Look at this, Diego though with jiu-jitsu skills of his own. But look at Ortega immediately spinning to guard. Diego with some good shots from the top and gets right back up to his feet with a smile. Both men, black belts in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And he just missed from Ortega. Ortega's gonna have to weather the storm, Mike. And there's a hard leg kick by Diego. He's gonna have to weather the storm. What we're seeing from Diego is more power and more speed and more fluidity in his striking. There's a one, two, a hard right hand and a left behind it. Oh, there's another hard right hand. But Ortega with the clinch here. Trying to get Diego Brandau down on the mat, watch for the knees here. Much now it's more Diego initiating. Much more MMA experience for Brandau as yes. well. It's another thing to think about. Takes him down, but Brian Ortega will attack off of his back. It is not a safe place to be in his guard. He's got a, a strong overhook on the right arm of Brandau, and Brandau's got to be careful there. Now, when as soon as you see a guy from the bottom doing a body triangle, he's not going to attack, unless he's got a guillotine. The only thing you can attack with the body triangle is the neck. Posturing up is Brandau, looking for the elbow. Ortega blocking that elbow, but not the second one. Diego Brandau, winner of four of his last six fights. Well, I think the Conor McGregor fight really woke him up. At, and the Dustin Poirier yeah. one prior, where he had trouble making weight. Well, Conor lit him up, yeah. and he's won his last two fights since then spectacularly. And he looks different. He looks more focused, more intense. And this is a very big, big fight for him. That fight was in July of 2014 in Dublin. A five-round main event. And look where Conor McGregor is today. Again, we're seeing the efficiency in the striking of Diego. He just moves quicker and his technique is tighter. Much more controlled, much more calculated, just as powerful as ever. Well, there's more danger behind what he's doing when Brian's doing it. As far as striking. To the body, answered by Brandau. Ortega unbeaten as a professional. 9-0, one no contest. One of the things they tried to work with Diego at Jackson's is getting him to calm down, getting him to yep. relax, so that he doesn't burn himself out in the early rounds. 
And if that message, Joe, may not have stuck initially, but you can see in the long term, it definitely has. Well, he's definitely learning. He's 28 years old. He's still growing and maturing as a fighter. This is his 35th professional fight at age 28. He showed good defense right there as Brian tried the one-two. And Diego's looking for the counters. We're getting a little reckless here. Huh? He's got a cut under the right eye. Ortega has connected more than once. One minute on the clock here in round one. Good head movement by Diego. Good hand position. T-City switching his stance back and forth, which he does pretty much every time we watch him fight. Very comfortable with that. It was a nice combination there by Diego. Diego just slides out of the way of that one. To the body. Brian looks a little looser here. He looks a little more relaxed. There's a nice kick to the body by Ortega. Now Brandau in the southpaw stance. Fight long, Brian Ortega. Brandau stays good. at southpaw. That was a good stiff right jab by Ortega. Now goes to orthodox, final seconds of the round. Switching up, much like Ortega does. Diego Brandau ducks under. Over here. Perfect, champ. Deep breath. You got him. Very good. Deep breath right here. Looking great. Very good. Movement. Same thing. We know what we got to do. Deep water. We talked about it. Take your time. Drawing him up. You already see him sucking wind now, little by little. Oh, he is. He's tired. Perfect. Perfect. We love it. Second, third round. This is us now. Don't get too committed. Don't get too aggressive. Perfect. Nice. Movement. Work from the guard. Don't be scared to work from the guard. Open up. He's going to want to hold you down. Open it up. Open that body triangle. Start to do your elbows. You know what to do. Perfect. How do you feel? Good. All right. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Looking great, Shen. 100%. Movement. There you go. Perfect. Everything's yeah. fine. Everything's yeah, perfect. Good. UFC has teamed up with 7-Eleven to give fans a chance to win a new Harley-Davidson. Download the 7-Eleven app on a smartphone and verify your age for a chance to win the motorcycle. Also visit a local 7-Eleven store for additional ways to enter. Harley-Davidson, the motorcycle worthy of being in the octagon. Round two. So we saw the corner of Brian Ortega very happy with what's going on, meaning that Brian is relaxing, looks a little bit more loose, didn't get hurt in that fight, got tagged a couple times, but he's fine. But more importantly, they believe they're taking Diego into deep water. They're taking him in the second and third rounds where his kinetic, explosive style will slow down. But as you and I talked about more than once in round one, that, you know, leave it all in the first 30 seconds of the fight approach, not the one Brandau's using tonight. Exactly. Both men looking to find their groove and take a definitive advantage in this fight here in the second. And there's a good left to the body and a right over the top. Mixing things up. The Brazilian ultimate fighter. But slowing down just looks different in the way he's moving. He doesn't have that explosive snap that we saw in the first round. Ortega coming off a coming very over. impressive coming win over, over you know Thiago Tavares. Every time, same Hunter shot. Gracie. We mentioned the he's getting tired, Brian. Lineage of the Gracies, of course, but the relationship with Never Brian shot, Ortega. Brian. Deep water, we got it. Deep water. Deep water. He's deep deep water. There you Perfect. go. Much like you said, Joe, deep water. Yeah, you can see Brian relaxing, being a lot more loose, seems much more comfortable, and you definitely see a slower Diego Brando, a more tentative Diego Brando. There's a good kick to the body by Diego, though. Diego over the top on the counter. Well, Brian Ortega has shown that he can take a good shot. That's for sure. Because especially in the beginning of that first round, he got hit with some good ones. Brandau mixing it up, much like Ortega. Accidental poke. John McCarthy says, let's keep going. 
Just about to the midway point of this fight. Brandau is taking a look up at the clock. Quick little switch on that inside leg kick. To the body nicely. He likes that body with the left hook, Joe, and then over the top with the right. But Ortega eats him, and he slides away with it. You know, he's getting hit, but he's moving. Brian Ortega, just 24 years old. That win in New Orleans was his first career win by TKO. I like that jab to the body by Ortega. Oh, nice counter. Nice right hook counter. Deep waters does not mean that Ortega starts, you know, throwing caution to the wind. They want him to stay calculated throughout this entire fight. Well, Ortega's very nice and light on his feet, Trent. And I think that is, that's a key in this fight, that he, he can move away as Diego makes those calculated explosions. And he has to be more and more reserved with those calculated explosions. There's a nice right hand by Diego. But as, as the rounds go on, he's going to do those less and less. And the more Brian Ortega can move like he's moving now, the more it will discourage Diego. To the body again. But Diego Brandau is really showing some great head movement tonight. Like that right there. But again, look. Missed calculated explosion. Yep. There's a nice one, two, three. Brandau having more success when he initiates. And Ortega blocks the counter. The ability to absorb the shots has perhaps been the most impressive thing about Ortega so far. Nice check. And good defense. Diego Brandau definitely owning the center of the octagon. Scott Ortega circled. Again, ducking under nicely. No wasted power there. Ortega saw that coming a mile away. Got his left leg up, but that one went right through. Ten seconds remain in round two. So now Ortega is in a dilemma. Because even though Diego's slowing down, Ortega hasn't really done anything to him. He hasn't hurt him. He hasn't done he, he could possibly be down two rounds here. Yeah, we got a good one now. Three, good breath. Relax. Please. Ready for a takedown or what? Put him down here, got him. Huh? Then do a takedown or what? You got one for me? Yeah, we have to, yeah. Let's put him down. We're just two steps from the cars right now, so we want to get in there. And very interesting. Henry's Absolutely. calling for a takedown yeah. here. There's an overhand right by Diego. And uh, caught Ortega. And here's another one here. That one right to the forehead. Oh. Very solid shot there by Diego Brandau. UFC fans, let your voice be heard. Tell us who you think is winning each fight by following at UFC on Twitter. All it takes is one click to vote on how you're scoring the fight. See all of the results live. Find out how your vote stacks up. Third round, the end of round two, Diego Brandau playing a little bit with Brian Ortega and motoring into his corner. But Diego is clearly pacing himself in that second round and not here in the third. He looks fired up, and Ortega with the takedown. But gave it up, went to his back. But you know what? Ortega is so good off of his back, that might have been a part of the strategy all along if he couldn't get the takedown pull guard. Because his guard is very good. Thus, and Diego, Diego yeah. lets him up. Yeah, Diego's like, eh, no thanks. But again, on the ground, pulls him in, and let's see what Diego decides to do. Brandau Joe started his training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at age 14. Brian Ortega is so active off of his back that it just it makes fighters very uncomfortable. And he's such a classically trained jiu-jitsu guard. Gracie jiu-jitsu black. It says it all. 
Oh, he's got it. Can he lock it down? He's gonna finish with this. He's got a choke. Looking for the win. He's moving to the mount. Can he he's lock it in? into a guillotine here. Diego's in deep, deep trouble because Brian Ortega is a finisher. He's only got one arm in play, though. Diego's out for now, at least. But he's going to go to an arm bar. He's going to go to a triangle. Look at, look at how active he is. It's beautiful. He taps. He taps. All over. Beautiful. Brian Ortega by submission. That is just lovely. great transition. Just the technique is just so nice. So beautiful to see. That is a classically trained Gracie Jiu Jitsu black belt. What a beautiful transition from choke to second choke to triangle. I mean, man, let's take a look at that because that was just a work of art. Fight let's, replay brought to you by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Here it is, Joe. Yeah, let's look how he does it. So he gets a hold of him, and here's the scramble. Now, immediately, he goes to Anaconda. He's going to, so he's got a, an arm in choke here, and he moves to the mount, turns it into a guillotine. He's only got one arm in play, so he decides to let it go, and he lets Diego scramble right into this triangle, slaps it on, and then look at immediately how he turns the angle. See the angle? Man, that is tight as a drum. That's beautiful. Brian Ortega remains unbeaten in his professional career. Winner by submission. To make it official, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 37 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a triangle choke, Brian T.C.T. Ortega! Outstanding yeah, finish here is Joe. Okay. This is fun. This is both our fight. We both put a show. We both deserve to be on TV. And you got to thank your camp, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother, for taking the fight. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Brian Ortega, first of all, congratulations on an excellent victory. You, you weathered the early storm. And I heard Henner Gracie saying to you in your corner, take him into the deep water, take him into the deep water. And it seemed like as the rounds went on, you got more comfortable, more relaxed with your striking. But man, the jujitsu, so beautiful. Talk us through this, because this transition, when you go from choke to choke, and then roll into the triangle, please just talk us through this right now. Well, pretty much every time I train with the Gracie brothers, they're like blankets over me. So I did the same thing, and it's something that we train in the gym every time at the Gracie Academy. We go from choke to choke to choke to choke. You think you're out of the fire, but you know you're not you rolled into this triangle and immediately turned to get this angle and just locked it up so tight that was a very quick tap you could tell how tight this triangle is they call me t-city for a reason baby triangle city beautiful beautiful technique congratulations on a big victory i just want to thank god because without him i'm nothing all god glory to god brian ortega ladies and gentlemen <laughs>